Welcome to the 2018 Kawi Awards. Now, if you've been in jail and do not know what Kawi means, it means coffee and whiskey with Ivy. And in case you don't know it, I am Ivy. 2018 has been an eventful year and I'm really looking forward to give a good award to the good people and a bad award to the evil ones. We have three categories, individual, organization and special mention awards. So let's look forward to the winners and the evil losers. Individual category. We start with the individual award, the Hyena Award. Now the Hyena Award is given to really evil people. The Hyena Award nominees are to the father who bashed his six months old son's head in anger because he would not stop crying. The boy suffered multiple fractures to his skull from which he will never recover and will need help for normal functions such as eating for the rest of his life. The next nomination goes to a 35 year old father who entered the toilet while his daughter was changing and raped her. Not satisfied, he raped her again some months later when her mother was out playing mahjong. Our final nominee is the father who made his primary school daughter kneel in the car park and delivered a slap so hard that her head spun backwards and could be heard quite a distance away by the person who shot the incident. And the Hyena Award goes to the man who raped his 14-year-old daughter repeatedly. What a bastard. Next is the Snake Award. This is given to people who are real cheaters, crooks, and conniving. Here are the nominees for the Snake Award. First up, we have Zheng Guoyan, also known as the Parrot Man for exploiting public sympathy by pretending to be a cripple and moving around Orchard Road on a wheelchair, begging for money. The mall management caught him in the act and posted photos of him walking and riding a bike on his own. Next, school teacher Maslinda, the head of department for English, who collected money from her students to print study notes for them. She ended up over collecting and pocketing $40,000 for herself from the poor students. And finally, Ng Ching Kui, the mastermind behind the fake claims he made to Skills Future Singapore, amounting to $40 million. Also involved were his wife, his sister and her husband, and their mother as well. They stashed cash in their home and went on spending sprees by buying jewellery and gold bars before they were caught. The Snake Award goes to Ng Cheng Kui, the skills future scammer. 40 million and he got a few more other people involved. I'm gonna make snake soup out of you. Now for something positive, enough of those evil bad people. The Malayan Award. The Malayan Award is given to people who have made great sacrifices for the betterment of his countrymen. The nominees for the Malayan Award are... The first nominee is Neo Kian Hong, who is doing his best to turn the bad rap and management of SMRT around by even giving up his own car to ride the train like the rest of us. In his first three months, he personally visited 58 MRT stations on the troubled lines, met 1,000 staff, even on late night shifts in order to improve the way things were done. Next, we have Dr. Vincent Lim who had sub scores for PSLE but he did not allow it to hold him back. He doggedly persevered and graduated with first class honours at university and went on to complete his PhD. He is now a research fellow at ASTAR Institute of Medical Biology. Our third nominees are Kenneth Tong and his wife Adeline for giving up good jobs to open their homes to unwed mothers, teenagers who live on the streets, or young people with mental problems who have nowhere to go or are too old for fostering. And the Malayan Award winner, I'm proud to call his name out, is Neo Kian Hong, CEO of SMRT, a great guy who gave up the most important thing to people is car, so that he knows how the rest of the world lives, so that he can do his job well. Well done, Neo. I must come and visit you one day at SMRT. Organization category. 
Now we go for the organization award. And this award is given to the company that has best done a cover-up job. It's called the Pangolin Award because the pangolin curls up and hides everything inside. Here are the nominees for the Pangolin Award. First up, for colluding and merging with Uber, ride-hailing company Grab wiped out its competitors, monopolized the ride-sharing industry, and left its drivers and users with less favorable prices and incentives to live with. For this, they were fined $13 million by the Competition and Consumer Commission of Singapore and sanctioned to level out the playing field. Secondly, Capital Offshore and Marine for giving more than US $50 million in bribes over 13 years to officials in Brazil in exchange for business deals. For this, the US government slapped a staggering US $422 million fine. And lastly, the Orchard Road cover-up. Protests have arisen after the whole street has been covered up with Disney icons instead of images celebrating the birth of Jesus for this Christmas season. And the winner of the Best Cover-Up Pangolin Award is Keppel. Shame on you, did you really have to do that? The next award is a good award. It is a Koka Award. It is given to an organisation that has done good things for the community. The nominees for the Koka Award are our first nominee is KFC, which has stepped up to lead the charge against single-use plastics. It has banned plastic straws in all its outlets in Singapore. Other companies like Burger King has followed. Up next, URA's Tenga Forest City is changing how we interact with nature in urban Singapore. It integrates natural living with urban living. Parks, hiking trails and car-free town centres will be a central theme where we live. The government will work out a Merdeka Generation Package. First, we had the pioneer generation to cater to the health and win the hearts of the very large aging population. Now, we have the Merdeka generation for the large number of citizens who come after them. We thank the PAP government for this latest creative generational recognition. And the Koka Award goes to URA for the wonderful vision of Dunga Forest City. Well done URA, good job. Special Mention Category Now we go to the final awards, the Special Mention Awards The Howler Monkey Award This award is given to people who make a lot of noise like the Howler Monkey Here are the nominees for the Howler Monkey Award First up is the Amakyo Aogang Town Council Trials Claims and counterclaims, allegations and denials The AHTC trials blew up and headlined the news week after week, underscoring the grave inadequacies of opposition-managed townships. Um, much less was said of the mismanagement by the GM and Secretary of the PAP-led Amokyo Town Council. Moving on, the Lee Sibling Squabble, a private family affair over whether their father's wish for the family home to be torn down after his death turned nasty and public. Mediacorp would not dare to consider doing a series on this. Lastly, a tribute to our fellow men. Singaporeans are champion grumblers, according to our founding father. Transport fare increase complain, bus no aircon complain, curry sauce need pay complain, everything also complain. We are Singapore, Singaporeans. And the Howler Monkey Award goes to Singaporeans. We are great grumblers, we make a lot of noise, but don't have the balls to do anything about it. Now, for a colourful award, the Peacock Award, given to the most outrageous and colourful fashion design. The nominees for the Peacock Awards are... First nominee, we have President Halima Yaakob for recently bringing bright colour to a sedate wardrobe. Next up is Miss Universe Singapore. We were treated to a surprise as she revealed her costume on stage in Bangkok for the Miss Universe Parade of National Costumes. An electric blue skirt that fans out to reveal a digital print of the historic handshake between Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim in Singapore. Even grumbling Singaporeans were left speechless. And as a last gasp, 
the dress, or whatever it was, worn by Liu Lingling at the Star Awards which speaks for itself. And the winner of the Peacock Award is the design of the Miss Universe dress. It was really outrageous, colourful, and I can't even know how to describe it. The most important award for this year, the Lion Award. This is given to a special group of people who did Singapore real proud. Here are the nominees for the Lion Award. The first nominee for this award is Amita Berthier. It surely is a feat for a young Singaporean to make a name for Singapore on the world stage and mostly on her own steam, held by her family. SEA Game gold medalist at 16, Junior World Cup champion in Havana at 17, and third in the world under 20 ranking. Up second is Janine Shum. Once again, the little red dot is not so little, as the 13-year-old was invited to the Buckingham Palace for winning the Queen's Commonwealth Essay Competition. Her complex poem gave voice to Singaporean students and Afghanistan girls. Next is Singapore's Woha Architects. Woha designed Kampong Emeralty that inspiring and seamlessly blended a community of old and young people with healthcare and recreation. A living Kampong community that won the world's top architectural award, the World Architectural Festival, the World Building of the Year. And the winner of the Lion Award is Woha Architects for their brilliant design of Kampong Admiralty. You have made Singapore proud. We are the winners of this great award. Mansam and Richard, three cheers. Keep up the good work. We have come to the end of the 2018 Kawi Awards. To all the good winners, keep up the good work. To all the evil ones, please try to change. Let's hope that 2019 will be another great year with more good awards than bad awards. Cheers. Whiskey.